there! This is P.T. Shan again and today we're going to talk about acupoint. What is acupoint? Who invented it? Well, acupoint is part of traditional Chinese medicine and therefore it's invented by the Chinese society. Uh, how many years are we talking about like, you know, in existence? Thousands of years. And it's through human trials. How does it work though? Uh, this is when, in the past, uh, when there's no advancement in medicine, uh, but when people start to get injured during their work, um, this is where they start to trial and error, and they found out that when they have a certain condition or uh, illness, there will be certain points that they touch that will actually make them feel better. Okay, so uh, other experiments that they did was um, when they are injured, they put themselves closer to the fire, put that body part closer, and they feel that, oh, I actually feel a bit better. And so uh, this is where um, heat therapy comes in. And also when needles are being invented in the Bronze Age, then that's where acupuncture comes into the picture. But all of them works on acupoints. All right? So where are all these acupoints? Now they're all over our body. There are, as of today, 2022, there are 362 points around the entire body. They are found along 12 meridian lines, and each meridian line is governed by an organ. Now bear in mind that in TCM, the organ is different uh, from the Western medicine kind of um, organ. Say for example, the heart, right? Uh, they have different function, they have different definition, they have a different pairing uh, organ as well. So do bear that in mind when you talk about a heart meridian point. It's probably not here, but somewhere along the hand. Okay. Now, um, why though? Uh, what's the function of our acupoints? Uh, there are three main functions, a local, distal, and a special function. What does it mean? Today, if I were to injure my hand, I'll probably pick an acupoint that is close to my hand to relieve the pain. Um, in Western medicine point of view, uh, we are looking at, say, a muscle that is injured. We go along the muscle belly. Some of you will know it as trigger point. Okay, so um, a distal function, say for example, I have a nose issue today, and I'll probably press a point along my hand. So this is where it is a distal function. Why is that so? Because there is a, a meridian line that runs all the way upwards. And therefore, if I press here, it will trigger some effect over here. Okay. Now, the third is a special. How do they find out? It's through experience. Really, a lot of years, thousands of years of human trials. So when they have a certain condition, they just find that most effective and efficient spot and they just treat from there. Okay. Now, uh, well, what does it mean though when you have pain, when someone says, oh, I'm pressing on this acupoint and what it means is it's blocked. The T and blood circulation is just not there. Think about our MRT line. When one station doesn't work, there will be a lot of complaints. So along one meridian line, if one acupoint doesn't work, it will give you a lot of pain. Okay. So uh, before we end, just a fun fact that in 1990, the World Health Organization has recognized acupuncture and therefore every acupoint has an international coding system in English. So with that, I hope you're slightly more interested in acupoints.